So you know in ZBrush when you have a low resolution object like this with very few polygons, say 8,000, and you hold down control and you change a stroke type to drag rect and maybe uh, take a mask uh, and you, you drag it out and it all looks good and then suddenly you let go and you get this low resolution uh, result here because you just don't have enough polygons to get higher resolution. But if you don't want to make higher polygons and you do want a better result than this, for example, if I control tap to invert that mask, and then go down to my deformation over here and say, well, I'm just going to inflate that and you get a result that looks like this, um, which is awful. So you want a cleaner result than that, but you don't want to generally change your polygon count. So I'm just going to show you a few different techniques for that. Here we have six different spheres. They all have the same low resolution sphere with the same low resolution mask on it. And I just want to show you the, the differences in the techniques that you can use to actually make uh, a shape that you can pull off the surface from that. So first of all, I'm just going to split these off. So I'm going to use my subtool split group split, just so we have a different sphere for each of these. I'm going to select this first one. And you can see now, if I just hit Control W, I'll get a result that looks something like this. So this isn't ideal. You know, it's not the, not the cleanest shape. It's giving us that jaggy shape that we all want to avoid. So the next option is to go and use group masked. So you'll see under the poly group section over here, that there is a group masked option down here. So if I just click on this, I seem to get pretty much the same result as I did before. So I'll, I'll undo that. The other option is I can turn up this polish here and say group masked, and that will actually polish that result. And now we're getting cleaner edges, but we've lost some of the sharpness. It's rounding it out an awful lot. And you can see, even if I go to a lower value, it's always going to round that out for us. So no matter what, I'll put it up to the maximum just to get the cleanest result that we can possibly get, and then I'll remove the mask. The next one is to use the smooth groups brush. So we can just hit Control W as before and get the same result as we did for the first one. But using our brushes from the Lightbox menu, we can go into, you'll have a smooth brushes here. If you go in here, there is one called smooth groups. And if you double click on that, it's ever just going to tell you, next, the next time you hold down Shift, we're going to use this instead of the, your normal smooth brush. So now I can go in here and holding down shift, I can smooth these out myself. So I have a little bit of control over this. But you can see, as much as I like to think I have a little bit of control over this, I can keep going over this surface, but I'm basically rounding it out and it's going to take me some time to do it. I'm struggling to keep sharp edges in areas like this. So that, but that is an option. The next one is to use the deformation and use this polish. So this will polish by groups. So in order to do that, we're going to do the same thing we did before. We hit Control W. That will create that. And now that we have that, we can say, well, now we can polish by groups. So I'm going to polish this a little bit and you see that polishes the surface there a little bit. We keep some sharpness, we lose other bits. It's kind of becoming a bit wonky, but it's an option. Um, I'm going to undo that and show you. You don't use the one with the open circle. That's much more aggressive. So that will actually really, really smooth it. So if you are going to use this, use the cl uh, closed circle and then just polish it a little bit. And that should give you something half decent. The next one is to use group loops. So up in geometry, there's a button in here called group loops with a certain polish amount. So in order for group loops to work, we have to hit Control W to create a group. And then once we've done that, we can hit this and that will smooth that out for us. And you can see it's added in those extra loops around here and then try to smooth that, out, that all out for us. What we can do here is we can say, well, you know, the inner group is too smoothed, but there is still an outer group. And if that all belonged to the one, this would be better. So what we can do is we can control shift, click on the outer group, click on it again to hide it, and then say control W to make one group out of that and then bring this all back by hitting control shift and tapping. You can still see, you can still see that it's a little bit rounded out in areas where we would have liked to have kept it sharp, although it has kept some sharper areas. The last one is edge loop mask border, and that's this button here. So this one, we don't actually have to use our control W. We can just create a mask and then hit edge loop mask border. And you can see this is giving us sharp lines in the center, sharp lines on the outside, relatively speaking. And if I get rid of my mask, you can see this is fairly successful. So of all the results that we had, this one is going to give us the best results. And just to bear in mind, though, it can be tempting when you see this to say, well, actually, I'm going to, if I have this, 
and it's giving me that kind of result. Well, what if I sharpen that mask? And you can sharpen masks by going down here and hitting sharpen mask or control and alt and then just tapping on that. And that will just sharpen up that mask. So it can be tempting to think that this is going to give you a better result when you hit next hit edge loop mask border. But what all you're doing really is you're defining these edges even sharper. So the next time we hit this, you'll see we're now getting much rougher edges on the outside of that. Conversely, if you have this and you think, well, then maybe I'll just soften it a little bit. So I'll just hit control and tap. You can see this has now destroyed everything pretty much because we have such, such low uh, polygon count. So when we try this, we basically get a mess. So effectively, if you're going to use edge loop mask border, just draw your mask out. Accept it for what it is, you know, as it is. <laughs> and then just hit edge loop mask border and you'll get the cleanest result that you can get for that mask. So for all of these results, I'm just going to take my, Q, my Z modeler brush, BZM. I'm just going to say Q mesh polygroup all, just so we can see what this looks like. I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to go to this one and I'll do the same thing. Pull this out, this one, same thing. So we can see the results a little bit clearer. Let's even merge those together. Now you can see the first one, fairly jaggy, group masked, did a decent job for us, but very rounded on the, on the center. This one kept some sharp edges because we controlled it ourselves. This one, again, very soft, very soft. And for that clear edge, this one gave us the best results. Now, once you have this, you can obviously go in and start using your other tools to smooth that out. We still have the option, even though this is looking a little bit um, jaggy here, we still have the option of using our shift, our smooth groups brush, just running over the edges of these, just tightening that up a little bit. We can always clean this up after the fact, but it's kept those main edges that we really wanted to keep sharp. And run that along here. I'll just be a little bit more careful than I mean. And we can even do the same at the bottom of these to sharpen that up as well. You can see we can get some nice clean results if we go about it this way. So as usual, hope this tip helps. And if you've any other suggestions, comments, um, any other tricks for doing the same thing, do let me know. For me, this is by far the best result. Uh, so if you do have low resolution geometry, use your edge loop mask border and then use a smooth groups brush to just kind of clean up those edges. And as usual, don't forget to like, subscribe, all that usual stuff. All right, cheers, bye.